Hey friends, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video for details on our 500 subscriber giveaway. Hey friends, at the end of the boating season, we're left with a handful of chores to get our boats and trailers ready for the wintertime storage. At least for those of us that live in the part of the country that we don't get to use our boats during the dead of winter. When I have when I have a little extra time in October, I like to do my trailer maintenance in October rather than put it off until November when it's freezing outside. For my end of the season trailer maintenance, I will jack up the trailer on each side, check the bearings, and give it a couple shots of grease, make sure it's topped off with grease. I have come across a product that makes that chore just a little bit easier and a little bit less time consuming, a little bit less frustrating too. I don't know how many of you guys are, I'm sure most of you guys can recall struggling with your grease gun, trying to get a couple squirts of grease in your bearings and the grease wanting to seep out below the zerk fitting or trying to hold it on and pump the grease gun at the same time. It's kind of a three-handed project. Well, I have found a product that makes that a little bit simpler. The Lock and Lube. That only makes it a little bit more hands-free, but it also keeps you from wasting grease. You can find this product at their website, lockandlube.com. I'll put a link in the description to it. But for 30 bucks, this is a real time saver. The lock and lube device installs pretty easily with a couple of wrenches. That's it, complete installation, less than a minute. By depressing the letter, it exposes the top of the device, which lets you clamp onto the Zerk fitting. This allows you to pump hands-free without any grease escaping below the Zerk fitting. So we depress the lever, solidly on the Zerk fitting. Release the lever and she's off. Now that is a slick product. I wish this product was around 30 years ago when I was doing maintenance for a living. The lock and lube. Saves time, wastes less grease, makes a whole lot less mess, and a whole lot less frustration. Well, 
with the trailer wheel securely off the ground. Now we'll just give it a spin and listen for any bearing noise. We'll see if there's any wiggle or wobble in the bearing from top to bottom and side to side. Bearing's nice and quiet, no noise. Not even a hint of play in that bearing. That left side bearing, I feel like there could just be a teeny bit of play starting. So I'll keep an eye on that in the spring. Check those again in the spring. The last thing you want to do is wait. Not maintenance of bearing that needs to be maintenanced. Have a breakdown on the side of the road. Nothing will wreck an otherwise good fishing trip like breaking down the side of the road. My trailer hack for the day, the lock and lube coupler. $29.99 and worth every penny. Guys, whatever you do, don't neglect your trailer bearing maintenance. I cringe every time I see a boat broke down on the side of the road trying to repair a bearing on the side of the road. It's just something that can be easily avoided. Hey guys, I hope, you, I hope you guys find this useful. Hope you find it helpful. God bless, tight lines. We'll see you guys on the water. Hey friends, thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, I hope you'll hit that like button. Hey, as we are quickly approaching 500 subscribers, we are, go we are going to hold a 500 subscriber giveaway. My good friends over at Lock and Lube have donated a Lock and Lube coupler that one of our lucky subscribers will get. To be entered in the drawing, please comment in the comment box below how often, how frequently do you grease the bearings on your trailer? or at least check them.